All right, so we have some sheets in our drawing and things are looking pretty good, but maybe what I'd like to do now is focus on cutting sheets for this particular project. And there's a number of approaches to this. A lot of folks will do things like D-View Twist. I know that's a pretty popular one, especially for civil sheets. But personally, I find it far easier to figure out the sort of optimal rotation, orientation, and just overall layout of my sheets in model space than I do paper space especially when I need to also create maybe a key plan of my site as well. And so all of this is predicated on knowing the precise visible area of my paper space viewport. And so how can we do just that? Well, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and just double click into this viewport. I already have one here in the drawing. Now, this viewport was just created with a simple zoom extents. So let's set this to a logical scale. Maybe I want to do 1 to 50 on this project. And so things, of course, zoom in for me, and that looks pretty good for me. Now, what I'd like to do is be able to figure out the exact area of 1 to 50 in model space so I can lay my sheet out there. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click back here into the sheet. And you'll notice something else I have done here is drawn a polyline over the visible area of my title block itself. And what I'm going to do with that, if I come over here to the Home tab under Modify, we have a super handy command right here called Change Space. This will allow me to either pull things from Model Space into Paper Space or push things from Paper Space, as I'm going to do here, into model space and it's going to figure out the scaling for me so here i'll just pick on change space and just like that if i go into my model tab now i now have a polyline here in model space and this polyline represents the precise visible area that i can see inside of paper space now what i find super handy from this point let's go ahead and maybe change my rotation angle here for polar to 15 degrees I can begin figuring out the overall orientation and layout of my plan set here by, I'll go ahead and rotate things and let's just move this rectangle over top of my site just like so. So maybe this is the exact orientation and layout that I'd like. I could certainly figure out the orientation of additional plan sheets here by using the copy command and so forth. But if I come back here to another layout tab, let's just double click in here and I'll do a zoom extents. There is my rectangle that we had originally pushed from paper space into model space. Now, I know in order to get this orientation just right, a lot of folks will do things like D-View Twist. I know that's a pretty popular one. Now, what I'm going to do instead, though, is I'm going to begin by turning on UCS Follow. So I'll type in UCS and find UCS Follow right there. We're going to turn that on. So right now it's set to zero. I'm going to set that to one. And what I'm going to do from here is just use the regular old UCS command. Nothing special here, no D-View Twist or anything else, just UCS. And in the UCS command, one of the options that I have is object. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this option. And it's going to now ask me the object that I would like to align the UCS to. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pick this polyline that represents the visible area of my plan sheet or my desired plan sheet. And we'll go ahead and pick that polyline. And just like that, AutoCAD rotates the view to be exactly how I laid things out in model space. Now the scale is a little off here and that's not too big of a deal. We know we can just go ahead and set that down here just like so. And so the scale is right, the orientation is right, but the overall position is not. So what can I do here? Well this is where the second command that I really like for this comes into play. If you come over to Express Tools, under layout, there is a super handy command here called align space. So it's kind of like change space. The difference is it's going to allow me to pick a point in model space and a point in paper space, and it's going to align those. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and do align space. I'm going to pick the end point of this kind of view frame that I put into model space. And that's all I need to do. I'll go ahead and hit enter now. That brings me into paper space. I'll just go ahead and pick the corresponding point here in my layout tab or paper space. So this endpoint right here. And 
I'll go ahead and hit enter. And just like that, it has pulled that view frame to be precisely where I located it inside of model space. So this is the way that I find most easy to set up, especially civil sheets where you need to lay out, especially on a large site, you might have different rotation angles and, and whatnot in order to fully sheet out your project. So that's the way that I find easiest is change space and align space.